welcome viewers to another episode in this series of episodes where we've continued to look at the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to download the companion app where we'll be able to find all the exam past papers, quizzes that we can help to practice. Remember, practice makes it permanent. Let us look at question 6a. A box contains four black and five blue identical pens. Two pens are picked from the box at random, one after the other without replacement. Find the probability that the pens picked are Loma numero one, both blue, Loma numero two of the same color. And these two colors five max. So let us get the key things. So we are told that we have a box that contains four black and five blue identical pens. So pens in total are nine, which is four plus five. Then two pens, two pens are picked from the box at random, one after the other without replacement. So we pick and we're not replacing. So every time we pick, they're reducing by one. So the best way to answer this question is to use the tree diagram. So what I'm going to say is let black pen be I'll say X. Then blue pen be Y like this. So I've got X and Y. So let me just get space where I'm going to do the tree diagram. So we are going to have the first branch, this is X, then this is Y. Then the second branch, then you can pick X or Y, then again here the same again X or Y. Now remember X is black. So we know how many blacks, there are four black pen out of nine. So meaning the probability of picking X is four out of nine. Then there are 5 blue out of 9, so it will be 5 out of 9. Then, this is the first pick. Now, if you pick, if in the first case we picked a black one, what it means is the number of black pens have reduced by 1 on the second pick. So, we are going to remain with 3. Now, in total also, the number of pens in the box have reduced by 1, so there are now 8. Then, since along this the black one, let me use the black so that you see, along this black branch, when I pick the second one, it means the first one would have picked was black. So, the number of blue pens remain unchanged because we assume that in this loot, X loot, we had picked a black one. So, we are going to remain with still 5 out of 8. So, that when you add those two, we are going to get a 1. On the bottom loot, which is Y, if in the first place we picked a blue pen, it means the number of blue pens reduced by 1. So meaning they are now 4. Out of, I mean, the total number also reduced by 1 out of 8. But the number of black pen, if you we, we had picked a blue at the beginning, or the first pick, remains unchanged. So the chance of picking him, a black pen remains 4 out of 8. So we, when you add these two, you discover that you are going to have one. So this is the tree diagram. Some questions I ask you to use a tree diagram, but using a tree diagram is much more easier for you to answer this question. Then let us look at the question. Both are blue. So we are looking for blue is what? Y. So we are looking at Y, Y. Meaning probability that you picked Y in the first case, then on the second case you picked also Y. This is what we are looking for. So we can answer this question on this space. So looking for probability that the first one was Y and the second one was Y, which is blue, blue. So this is equal to 5 over 9 times 4 over 8, which is equal to 5 times 4 is a 20, 9 times 8 is 72. The number that can go in both is a 4, 4 into 20 is a 5, 4 into 72 is 18. So we have 
5 over 18 as in the answer. Then we can look at Loman number 2, the same color are of the same color. So what this tells me is we are looking for probability of y, y plus probability of x, x of the same color. So there are two possibilities. The possibility is we picked black in the first choice and also black in the second choice. Or we picked blue in the first choice and in the second choice. So the loots that we are interested in is this loot. The one I'm going to use lead is this loot we are interested in. So now let us answer this question. So we use this one, so Loma numero 2. So looking for probability that y1, y2 plus probability that x1, x2. Now remember we're just from finding this, which is both bloom. We know what that is. So that one is in 5 over 18. So we need to find the other one. So that we don't waste so much time. So the other one is in now this root, this one multiplied by this one. That's what we're looking for. So it will be 4 over 9 multiplied by 3 over 8. So we're going to have 4 over 9 multiplied by 3 over 8. So we're going to have 5 over 18 plus 12 over 72. So we have 5 over 18 plus 4 into 12 is 3 over 18. Adding these two is going to give me 8 over 18, which further simplifies to 4 over 9. So 4 over 9 is the answer we are looking for. So once we do this, we are good to go. Then we get the 5 marks. Let us look at question B. The diagram shows a trapezium OABC in which OA equals 2 vector A, OC equals 3 vector C, AB equals 3 OC, and D is the midpoint of AC. Express in terms of vector A and of vector C, AC, OD, which is Roman numeral 2, Roman numeral 3, OB, Loma numero 4, B, D. So let us start answering this question one by one. So here what we've been given is very clear. So it's just a matter of answering this question following the instruction. So we are looking for A, C. So which is this one. Then we know that there are two ways of getting to, to C. The first one is we can go to A, which is O, A, then pass through a then to C, which is A, C. So, O, C is the same as O, A plus A, C. So, what I can do now, I have O, C is the same as going to O, O to A, then from A to C. So, I'm looking for, for A, C. So, this tells me that O, C, then this one crosses the equal sign, minus O, A, must give me a c. So a c equals o c minus o a. What is o c? So o c will be given as this one. So it's 3 vector c. Then minus what is o a? o a is 2 vector a. So this is the answer for Loma numeral 1. Then we can look at Loma numero 2, which is OD. So OD, what is OD? How can we get to D, which is OD? OD is this direction we're looking for. If you know the relationship between AB and this one, then we also told that D is a midpoint of AC. So meaning uh, AD, this AD up to here is half of AC. That's what it means. So based on that, we know that OD is the same as OA plus AD, like that. So we know OA. OA is what? Is 2 vector M. Then plus AD. AD is half of AC. Then we have 2 vector A, then plus half of 3 vector C minus 2 vector A, like that. 
then we need to simplify this so I have 2 vector a then plus half times 3 is 3 over 2 since these are vectors so say 3 over 2 vector c then minus half times 2 is a 2 so we are going to have minus c a minus vector a like this then collecting the like terms we are going to have vector a minus vector a so 2, two vector a minus c vector a plus c 3 over 2 vector c which is going to have m vector a plus c 3 over 2 c like that so this is the answer for Loma numero 2 we look at Loma numero 3 so Loma numero 3 is OB we are looking for OB so how can we find OB so let me just clean so that you see properly so where is OB so OB is from O to B like that so we are looking for this vector so this one is the same as so OB is equal to OA plus AB like that so we know AB from here then we know what that one is so it's just a matter of now we come and substitute OB vector OB is equal to vector OA plus vector AB then we know what OA is so OA is this one so it will just be 2 vector A then plus we have 3 OC we found OC already or well, we know what OC is so what is OC so OC is this one 3 C so we multiply that one by 3 so we're going to get 3 vector C which gives us 2 vector A plus 9 vector C so this one is the answer then we can move to the last one which is Roman numero 4 this one let me use a red color so that there is a clear distinction we are looking for BD where is BD? the vector BD so if you see from here what we have is this one so looking for this direction so how can we get to BD so BD can be found by using this fact that BD is equal to BA plus AD that's what we use so BD vector BD we go there vector BD equals vector BA like I said plus vector AD now remember we already found it then vector BA is the same as the negative of vector AB plus AD so that's what BD is so what is the vector AB vector AB we've been given this vector AB and just from finding uh, that so what we get is the OC vector OC which is this one we multiply it by 3 we are going to find the vector A a B negative 3 multiply by vector OC then plus uh, AD like this so we know minus we know what OC is so OC is equal to vector 3 3 C then plus AD so AD did we find AD somewhere so AD is this one which is midpoint of AC so it's half of vector AC AC is this one which we had found which is 3 this one is AC vector AC so we just come now here and replace so it will be half times uh, vector AC like that then we're going to have minus 9 vector C then plus half vector AC AC is what so AC is 3C minus 2 vector A so you see 3c minus 2 vector a like that then expanding this we're going to have minus c this one then plus 3 over 2 vector c then minus vector a like this then we multiply this we add this two so if I'm going to say now on the new page I'm going to send minus 9 vector c 
over 1 plus 3 over 2 vector c then minus vector m this one is a 2 1 into 2 is m. 2 times 9 which is 18 vector c then 2 into 2 is a 1 times 3 is a 3 vector c then minus 1 simplifying this I'm going to get minus 15 over 2 vector c minus a vector a that's what I'm going to get then simplifying this further I'm going to end up with him minus I can even do this a common denominator is a 1 here so it will be a 2 2 into 15 is minus 15 vector c then minus 2 vector a like this so this is the answer or I just end from minus 15 vector c over 2 then minus c a like this so once I do that then we are good to go then we would have found what we are looking for so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at the next question extensively